Dr. Malik wanna join us. So what do you think about those pictures? Allah, he promised you women like this. I don't know, but you make a false claim about uh, the three daughters. I made false claim about what? About the three daughters of God. We can go there. Let us finish here, and I promise you. Did I will you go reach? There. Did you reach fifty-three uh, twenty-two? No problem. We will go there. But what do you think about those women now? Do you agree that your penis would be so big, endless? It's not endless. That's not true. No, it says endless there. It says in the front of you, and nakhlas sahuk, sahuk. You know what sahuk mean? One of you will be given in paradise a penis. The size of a palm tree and a vagina. No, no, no. It doesn't say it no. It doesn't say wait, palm tree. Wait, it doesn't say. It doesn't say enough. palm tree. It says nakhla sahuk. Sahuk mean endless. Endless. Oh, that's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe okay. I read it. So do you agree? With, do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? With what? Your penis will be endless. So big. Yeah, I don't know uh, who I must uh, trust, you or the translation. Well, you can go right now and you can take this uh, word to any Arabic dictionary and check it out. Sahih, yes. Sahuq, uh, it's, uh, it's English. You can do that. Yeah. Who is more big, your penis or Allah? Are you afraid to uh, to go to the... the it's, well, you don't uh, want to change to, topic to now. Speed. Are you afraid to talk about the yes. size of your penis? Yeah, but it's uh, a silly, uh, silly question. I'm no, not, this, uh, for me, it's very, uh, very important. Who is bigger? It's a silly question. Who is bigger, you, your penis, or Allah? I really want to ask. I really want. Uh, I really want to know if you want to know the truth. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Or not. So, can you answer me? Who is going to be bigger, your penis or Allah? Do you want to know the truth or not? I'm asking who is bigger? This English is Allah English? Do you want to know the objective truth or not? What is the objective truth? Yes, ask yourself what the what is the object what what means uh, ob objective uh, truth? Huh? What you guys, he said to me, Do you want the objective truth? I said what the objective? He yeah. says ask. <laughs> so listen, yeah. do you do who you is want going, who is going to be bigger, your penis or Allah? Allah is the most uh, most high, so he's the he's the big boss. But okay, okay, so guys, he is the big boss. So your penis is a small oh. boss, okay. But you Muslims, but you, what your, your prophet, he says, endless. So if if the penis is endless, and Allah, according to you, is the big boss, is that because he's big, bigger than the penis, or because he is in control of the penis? You know what it says uh, uh, under the hadith? Uh huh. It says, uh -huh. he's saying, uh -huh. it includes, means it in, entails. It means what? what? It means by it, it's not the opposite of matching it. It means what? And it's own shop of benefit, not. Okay. It means what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this hadith is. Uh, yeah, Abdul, Abdul, what are you reading? Uh, Abdul, let us laugh together. What, what, you, what you just said? What, what you, uh, I just read, uh, uh -huh. it's a big text or not? A big, big text? Uh, size matter. Yes. The penis is big, the text is going to be big too. But I don't see what it says. What are you talking about? Are we going to go to the three daughters or not? Okay. If we go to the three daughters, are you going to answer me about the size of Allah and the size of your penis? Which one is bigger? If I, if I, know, if I know the answer, yes. You do not know. So you think Allah is smaller than your penis. Okay, now we go to the three daughters. Go ahead. What about the three daughters? Can you go to 53, uh, 22? But you will not be sorry now? For what? You will not say, I want to change topic. Let's go back to the penis. No, no, no. Why? Okay. Chapter 53, what verse you want? 22. Are you sure? Yes. Read it. 21, 22, 23. Okay, read it. 
Do you read? Uh, uh, you read is better. I don't know how to read. I'm illiterate, for your, like Muhammad. For, for your uh, uh, audience. I don't know how to read. Go ahead. Do you prefer to have sons while you attri attribute uh, to him daughters? Uh -huh. Then this is truly a biased distribution. Uh, distribution. Uh -huh. These idols, these idols uh -huh. are mere names that you and your forefathers have made up. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Hmm. Show, show it to the screen, please. Where it says the word idols. That is what I read. You are stupid, like your prophet. Where it says the word idol. Inna hiya illa shay'un. A shay'un? Here it says shay'un? Sama'un. Is that? Sama'un. Asma'un. The Arabia Mursi? Eh, da. What? The Arabia, <laughs> the Arabia <laughs> of Sibu and Asib. This is Arabic now? You are reading Arabic for me? No, I, no, no, no. What? No, 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 no. A second ago, I heard you saying but, something in Arabic. Show us the translation. Show us the translation. Show us the translation. Where is the word idol? What? Where is the word idol? You see, Muslims here are adding idols. Like here it says idol. Where is the idols? Where it says in the verse that those are idols. Okay. And how do you interpret this text? Oh, but guys, guys, he is the one who says to me, you did lie about this I verse. Just, I just read. He challenged me to come wait, here. Okay, and he wait, is asking wait, wait. me now to give him interpretation. Wait. You give me interpretation. Hold gonna, on. I'm, where is, the word, you, where gonna... is the word idol? <laughs> the English. Yeah, wait. <laughs> the English. Wait. The English. Yeah, mercy. <laughs> All right. So listen, why you Muslim lie? Where in the Quran it says that those okay. are idols? Where it says that those are idols? Or what Allah saying? Or what Allah saying? Or what Allah saying? You're supposed to. I send the link. I those send the are link. names you gave it to his daughters. He did not say. I them. send the link. I send the link. What link? Go to it. I send the link on the in the chat. Okay. That is what I read. Uh, you are reading from that link. Yes. You are a linky guy. Like you. I, right. I learned, I learned okay. it from you. Okay, so I will open for you the same translation, Khattab. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the translation you, you gave me. This is, but this is what I read I know, I on know. the translation. I know, but the Khattab is a, is a joker. Here we go. We, we switch, no problem. Just to make you happy. All right. So now, this is Khattab. Khattab is a liar. Where is the word idol in the verse? What does he uh, use? He is what using the word idols. The them? idols. He said the idols. If you Muslim don't fabricate your book, you tell me why he is saying the idols. Where is the yes, word this, idols? Uh, these where idols. Is the, where is the idols? Where is the word idols in the Quran? I don't know. I just read the. You don't know. I ask you about the size of your penis, and Allah who is bigger. You do not know. What do you know? And now you ask me to go here to get me busted, and now you are saying to me you do not know, and now you are in trouble. So Allah never said those are idols. Allah did okay, not. Okay, you can listen, listen, what, listen, listen. Or listen. what Allah said. You look, can, look you how can funny. throw look. that word. Okay, why Allah? You can throw on. that word. You hold don't. On, hold on. Hold wait, on. wait. Why Allah wait, is you... abs why Allah is upset? Because they gave him daughters and they have sons. Why is upset? Read it without idols. No problem. This you is can a... read it without idols. First of all, there is no word consider. It says you can read it without idols. It says, "Don't you see? Don't you see? Do you see?" Okay. But okay. Okay. So you now can throw I the ask idols. You. You okay, can... I want to ask you. Can the Arab see Allah al Uzza? I uh, I don't know. I I'm not. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a, a scholar in Arabic language. Potato, you are the one but, who challenged me, and you insist to come here 
And I said to you, are you sure? But I'm, I was the trying translation to ask you to come here. So look what happened now. The Quran saying, Listen, have you seen a lot of Uzzah? That means they are real. Are they fake or real? But the translation says, these are mere names that you and your no forefathers problem. have no, made no. up. So Allah don't agree Without with the names. Allah don't agree with the names, but they are real. Yeah, but we know, we know. So are, yes, are they the real? Are they real? Or... But we know that they believed in idols. Well, you Muslim believe in idols anyway. No, we don't believe in idols. Okay, let me ask you. Is al uzza is exist? As an idol, yes. No, as a as a living being. Okay, that's also an idol. No, living beings are idols. If people believe that I am God, then I am a, uh, then I am for them an idol. So, is the daughter of Allah exist? Allah doesn't have a, a daughter. Did your prophet? People, uh, did, did your prophet? People kill, actually. Did your people prophet, actually? Put, at, people actually attribute uh, sons and daughters to Allah. Did your prophet? Kill, did Allah, your prophet? Killed, that is what Allah means. Did your prophet killed kill the daughter of Allah? The daughter of Allah? Uh huh. Allah, Allah doesn't have a daughter. So did Allah, Prophet, order his man to go and kill the, his daughter, the, the daughter of Allah, or not? I don't know. But you are a so uh, so. What do you mean? So what do you mean? You don't know. Listen, you are a specialist in uh, in the Quran. No, yes. I'm asking I you. To... I'm asking you. Yeah, now. listen. Do you know or I'm, you don't? I'm, I'm very... Listen, I'm Do very, I'm, I'm very, uh, very uh, okay. So now, is the did your prophet kill the daughters of Allah? Yes or no? The idols. No, you cannot kill an idol. You can destroy an idol. Yeah, he destroyed idols in Mecca. All right, I'm talking about killing, killing, not destroying as a, a a rock. I'm Ibn talking Ibn. about, I'm talking about killing. Al -Uzza. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I never heard about it. You, you remember, you are the one who asked me to come to this uh, chapter. Yes. And now you are saying to me, I do not know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... But you are a specialist in uh, in the Quran. Can I give you a? What you a said? One, uh... What you said to me? I lied. I didn't say that. Yeah, you said you miss uh, uh, you deceived. Uh, yes. Yeah, that deceiving is lying. I, no. said to you, I said to you, I said to you, you understand? Uh, it's a, a false claim that he has because Allah says. When you say false claim, you are saying I'm lying. Yeah, false claim. Uh, okay. Maybe hey, you go. I get you, wherever you go. So now, did your prophet kill Al Uzza, the daughter of Allah? Yes or no? I don't know. Huh? If I know, I would say yes or no. No, uh, you should know. Either Al Uzza is I someone. Is either Al Uzza is exist or it's not. Is it exist? Maybe they maybe they would uh, they exist uh, like uh, like stones uh, like you know what I mean. No, we are not talking about a stone. We are talking about a real person, a human being, a woman. She was killed, and Muhammad he says, "This is Al Uzza." Yeah, maybe it's a uh, people uh, worship her. Yes, I understand. No, it. she is Al-Uzza, not just worship her. She is a specific person. This is Al-Uzza, so the daughter the of Allah. What was the reason? And what was his reason? Muhammad, he sent Khalid to kill Al-Uzza. Khalid, he went, he destroyed a house, he cut a trees, he came back. Your prophet said to him, you did not finish yet, go back. He went back. And then a woman, he saw a woman there. And then, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he cut her head. And then he came back to Muhammad. He told him, Muhammad, he said, well, that is Al-Uzza. That is Al-Uzza. Can you give me the hadith of this? All right. 
A Sahih Hadith. No problem. Here we go. This is Sahih Hadith. All right. Let us see. All right. You, you remember you gave me a website yourself and you said you believe in this website, right? Quran.com. This is the website you gave me yourself. I just took the first one. Yeah, you gave me a website yourself. So don't tell me now you don't accept it. Did you give me no, this I website? I just did the translation, yes. Okay. This is the chapter of An-Najm, the same chapter. And this is Ibn Kathir. You see it? And now we will go and we will Can see. You send that me the link. Here we go. This is the link here. Uh, guys, post it please and Rumble and YouTube if you don't mind. And then uh, let us see here. <clears throat> this is your prophet he sent Khalid to kill as you see here so he sent Khalid <coughs> to kill Uzza when the messenger of Allah as, do, you, do you see the screen mm -hmm. all right let us make it big <coughs> Okay, he conquered Mecca. He sent Khadim al-Warid to the area of Nakhla where the idol of Al-Uzza was erected, uh, uh, erected on these three uh, trees of forest. Khalid cut the three uh, uh, trees and approached the house, built around it, and destroyed it. When he went back, the prophet, uh, he, the prophet, he informed him of the story, what he did. The prophet said to him, Irja. Go back, you did not do anything yet. You did not finish. Khalid, he went back, and when uh, uh, when he arrived there again, the servant of Al-Uzza, they saw him, and they started screaming, invoking by calling Al-Uzza. And when Khalid, he approached it, he found a naked woman whose hair was untidy and was throwing sand on her head. Khalid killed her with his sword and he went back to the messenger of Allah who said to him Tilka al -uzza. That was al -uzza. Do you see it? So is al -uzza the daughter of Allah is real or fake? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm reading. Uh-huh. Go further. What further? Go further down. You can go here, we'll go and read whatever you want. Did did he I'm kill Al Uzza? Did he kill Al Uzza? The rest of the story is just additional information. Focus with me. Did, no, he kill, did he Why kill? He did he kill Al Uzza? Did your prophet say to him that is Al Uzza? Yes. Okay. I want to so know is Al Uzza is Al Uzza a real daughter of Allah or it's not exist? Yes, it is a name that exists. Yes. So Allah have three daughters. That's no, that's not true. What do you mean, no, guys? If, uh, if are you saying your prophet he lie? If listen, if the uh, Uzza, yes, wait, 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 the Al Uzza that was in the time of Ibrahim, alayhi salam. <laughs> Abdul, don't go around. Is Al Uzza a real laugh. person or you it's not? Laugh. You're you a prophet. Listen, you can when, you, when you're a prophet, he says, This is Al Uzza. Did he lie? Yeah, he lied. Yeah, that is a name. No, uh, do you no, know? No, no, that's not a name. There's only you see. Listen, 
Al Uzza, which means God Uzza. Al Uzza means God no, Uzza. No, so the God it's Uzza, someone, listen. Someone who called someone who she called is a woman. She is a woman. Yeah, it is a woman. The story says That's that the servants, listen, the servant of Al Uzza start invoking her. Read, read, potato. It says here, the servant of the Al Uzza, when the servant they saw Khalid, they start invoking her by Koyan al Uzza. So now when he approached, he found a naked woman whose hair was untidy. This is Al Uzza. Yes. Okay. So is that, did Muhammad kill Al Uzza or he did not? Wait, uh, the question is, also, it's, it's, yeah, it was. Either, yes. you agree, either you agree so, that your prophet is a fraud liar, this is not the Al Uzza, and Al Uzza does not exist, or you agree that Al Uzza is exist, and then your God is a stupid religion, your religion is a stupid religion. Allah have three daughters, it's proven, here we go. This is Al Uzza, it's real. No, no, go down, go down, go down. What go down? The, the rest of the information about the other, the other daughters. Allah. They are saying to you, Allah belong to that uh, tribe of Thaqif and at, uh, in the area of Ataif, etc. That's it. And then Allah and its servant, as says the Prophet, sent and Mughira uh, and Abu Sufyan, blah, 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 to destroy Allah. And they carried out the Prophet command, built a masjid. But the only one here we see, they killed Al Uzza as a woman in the story here in Ibn Kathir. It was. Al Uzza, that is Al Uzza. Who? The naked women. I'm surprised that your prophet did not have sex with this naked woman, Al Uzza, the daughter of Allah. Your prophet, he have sex with anything is moving, or dead. Did he sleep with the, in the in the grave with Fatima, the mother of Ali, and the excuse uh, is because he want to make the grave easy on her. Was she beautiful and young, as that says in the stories, that she is young and beautiful? And Muhammad he took off his clothes and lay down with her, and he covered himself. I'm gonna, in the I'm grave. gonna, I'm gonna ask tomorrow. Uh, the context about this guys this guy he insisted he want to take me here and when we come here he don't want to be here tomorrow <laughs> i told you don't go there you must don't never take my advice take it take it now so now al uzza uh, we go back to the first question why allah is saying this is unjust distribution are we dividing hummus what he's talking about but uh, the the surah is about uh, about the time of Ibrahim alayhi salam. What time of Ibrahim? This in time of Muhammad. What Ibrahim? What? Where is Ibrahim here? Where is Ibrahim here? Where is Ibrahim? What are you talking about? What Ibrahim? Right. What Ibrahim? You're a prophet. He worships stars. And this is a story where Allah, he's you know, he swear by the stars. And then the cousin of Muhammad, he said to Muhammad, I don't believe in Allah. He said to him, aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog to eat you? Is that true that Allah have a dog? Malik? Yes, I'm, I'm reading. Is right. it true? Is it true that Allah, he have a dog? I don't know. No, no. What do you of course mean you don't know? What do you mean you don't know? You want to play? You want to play like you don't know anything now? Yeah, you uh, ask very uh, deep questions. I don't know. Are right, those deep? I just asked you about the dog. I don't know what 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 is deep about it. Do I love a dog? Of course not. What if I show you that Allah have a dog? What 
What if? What if Allah have a dog? If he has it, then he has a dog. But isn't you last time you spoke What's to that? me, you said to me, dogs are dirty? No, I never said yes, that. Yes, you said that I to me. I said to you, why dogs don't enter a house, have dogs in it? You forgot? You have short memory? Yeah. Here we no, go. I know what I said. Here we go. This is the cousin of Muhammad was making fun of the God of Muhammad. He don't want to worship the, the, the God of the stars, the pagan God. So your prophet, he said to him, aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog to eat you? And according to the story, this dog have a voice, have a sound of a lion. Is that true? He's a dog, but have a voice of a lion. Up by Ibn Abi Layyab said, I disbelieved in the Lord of the Star. So the Messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, said, Are you not afraid that the dog of God will eat you? He said, So he went out on trade to Yemen, and while they were getting married, he heard the voice of the lion, and he said to his companions, I am it was eaten, so they stared at it. He hit their palms and they fell asleep. Then he came and took it, but they only heard his voice. So the Allah have a dog? I thought dogs are dirty in Islam. It turned to be Allah himself have a dog. Are you there, Malik? Malik is buying food for dog uh, online. Because the dog of Allah can eat him too. Uh, Malik, do you think the dog of Allah will come and eat me? Other story here. True story, by the way. This is all true stories. Muhammad never lie. Neither the Muslims. On the authority of Qatada, the Prophet may God's prayers and peace be upon him recited by the star when it descends, and Ibn Abi Layyab said, I think it is. He said, His name is Atba. I disbelieved in the Lord of the Star, so the Prophet may God's prayers and peace be upon him said, Be careful not to be eaten by the dog of God. He said, he struck his head and said, Ibn Tawas said on the authority of his father that the Prophet may God bless him and grant him peace said, Aren't you afraid that God will let his dog control you? Eat you, not control you. So what do you think the dog of Allah will eat you? What do you know what the... the, the... What kind of dog Allah you have? Any Muslim would like to help us? What kind of dog Allah you have? I heard that he have Chihuahua. Is that true? Because from the description of this dog, it must be aggressive and very big, you know? So I am assuming that this is a very tough dog. Malik, what happened to you? Are you did the dog of Allah eat you? Malik is gone. Okay, bye-bye, Malik. Remember, he is the one who insists when I talk about this topic. And he keeps saying to me, are you afraid to talk about it? He is the one who keeps saying to me, are you afraid to talk about it? Why are you trying not to talk about it? Your God Allah will send his dog to eat the guy and he ate him, really? Yum yum? Mean. 